new survivors and welcome to the Snapdragon Pro Series Free Fire Season 2. My name's Dana Lee and it has been an exciting series so far in the Asia Pacific region. Here's how the format works. Teams are divided into four separate regions, with 24 teams representing each region in the qualifying finals group stages. Only 12 teams from each region will move on to the regional finals. Teams then battle it out in the regional finals and only the remaining top three teams in each region will represent their region in the upcoming challenge season two. Let's check out some of the highlight moments and how they got there. Over in Malaysia, Singapore and the Philippines, there were intense shootouts happening between the teams. Shotguns seem to be the weapon of choice here as most teams tested their skills when meeting their opponents face to face. Auto knockout was seen as major threats after their dominance in the group stages. However, they failed to show the same level of gameplay in the regional finals. Most of the competition though seemed to be between Farang and Expand, with Expand getting four booyahs, thus giving them a dominant lead. AV Radicals delivered an unbelievable performance too, getting the booyah and 23 kills. Ultimately though, the tough competition for top 3 ended with Expand, Farang and Axis Esports coming out on top in the region. Heading over to Thailand, the fan favourites here have been putting on quite a show. E Arena put on a solid performance even though they failed to secure a booyah on the first day. They eventually picked up the pace and had good flanking which helped them secure a booyah even in a 2v3 situation. King of Gamers Club was putting on a show. They got four booyahs during the regional finals and have shown why they deserve to play with the big boys. Nigma Galaxy showed the most consistent performance by being top three after almost every match. It was their gameplay and skills that showed why they're one of the fan favorites in Thailand. Their understanding of the game and high skills put them at the top of the Thai region along with E Arena and King of Gamers Club. In the Vietnam region, the regional finals has been a show for the teams to showcase their talents. The matches between Heavy, Team Flash, MDH Esports and HQ Esports were highly competitive. Team Flash were dominating early on and secured two booyahs, but Heavy were leading in overall points. Similarly to other regions, teams at Vietnam liked getting their kills in close quarter situations and even got some vehicle kills. Road kill! Beautiful grenade throws, multiple frags and highly accurate shots also helped MDH Esports get a booyah and 20 kills in just one match. At the end of the day, the top three Vietnamese teams were Heavy, MDH Esports and Team Flash. Finally, on to Indonesia. The battle for top three in the Indonesian regional finals was super close amongst all 12 teams. After a stunning group stage, OPI looked to continue leading the region. However, all the teams were fighting a close battle and were hungry to get top three. With such amazing plays and tactics, Indonesia showed us why they have such amazing free fire teams with glorious action all around. At the end of the day, the top three Indonesian teams were Sudara Esports, First Raider Eclipse and Dewa United Esports. And those were the highlights for the top three teams from each region. These teams will be facing six invited teams from Challenge Season 1. These teams are Sem9, Anxiety, Evos Phoenix, Evos Divine, V Gaming and Attack All Round. Out of all the teams, which country has the better Free Fire players? Catch all the heat in Snapdragon Pro Series Free Fire Season 2 on the 2nd of December. See you then!